Hi, it's Chris here from the EcoMod project. In this video tutorial, I'd like to look at some of the resources and support that's available for EcoMod software. Uh, the first place to start is the EcoMod project website. Uh, you can normally find this quite easily just by typing EcoMod into a, uh, a web browser. And you'll see the address is actually eq-mod.sourceforge.net. This uh, site really has links to everything that you you need. Um, the site itself uh, is well worth a read. If uh, you're new to EQMod, uh, please have a good look at all the pages on this site. Um, the overview, overview page um, tells you about the various uh, software packages we we have. It tells you how to connect to the mount, um, ask or answers a few fundamental questions about do you really need EQMod, what are the advantages. Um, the prerequisites uh, page tells you all the things that you need to have in place before you use e EQMod, um, tells you the type of mounts that we support, um, and it also tells you about uh, EQ Direct devices. There's a page here that tells you how to build your own. So we'll just skim over this for the moment. You can look at it yourself in your own time. But there's a circuit diagram there. There are also instructions for um, building a, a, a USB uh, EQ Direct. For those folks that don't feel confident in, in making their own electronics, um, there's also a page that lists some vendors of, of uh, EQ Direct devices. Uh, we've got nothing to do with any of these people, um, but you know we have been told that they they, they supply cables and things. So we've, we've we've just made a list for for folks. Each one of the uh, products is also then described in a bit more detail. There's no real need for me to show you that now. You can do that yourself uh, in your own time. The uh, perhaps one of the most important sections of this site is the, is, is the documentation um, area. If we go to that, uh, you'll see right at the top it says that this page is basically supplemental to the EcoMod wiki. Uh, so I'll show you that first of all. You can get to it off this link here or off the top here. Um, this actually takes you to a separate site, as you can see. Um, but this this wiki is uh, very comprehensive. It's well written. Uh, there's lots of um, pictures for illustrations and things. And it really probably will answer 95% of your questions about EQMod. Uh, and it's it, it's organised in a logical kind of way. So how to install it, how to use it, how to control the mount, alignment. Know, other settings and things, guiding, it's it, it, it's all in there. Um, now we do install a hard copy of this along with EQASCOM. Uh, obviously the website may be more up to date than the hard copy that's being installed, it depends how how old the uh, installation is or when the last release of EQASCOM was. Uh, so it's always worth checking on this website if you have internet access, uh, then maybe it uh, changes. Um, so the website is always likely to be more up to date than the, the manual that you get installed. Okay, going back to the, doc the documentation section of the EQMod uh, website, you'll see there's uh, some general information, uh, more detailed stuff on setups, how to set your home position. Uh, some uh, in-depth look at alignment and mount limits. I say just it's it's probably the s similar to the sort of stuff that's on on the wiki, but it just goes into a little more detail. Perhaps gives a little bit more technical insight. Um, guiding, periodic error correction, uh, and there's some stuff for developers, people that really want to get under the skin of of, of what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, there's a series of presentations uh, that have been contributed that are uh, 
or that were part of a, uh, a workshop that was given, um, video tutorials which you're obviously already watching, uh, and there's a section with uh, frequently asked questions. Well worth a look through here. Um, a lot of the common problems w are, are covered by these or, or common questions that are asked. Um, if we get more questions, um, we think you know, a lot of people are asking, we'll just add this list. Um, so again, well worth checking on here. If you've got a problem, look here first. It's probably already been answered. OK, the other thing I want to show you on, on this site uh, is, it, is the link to the downloads. Um, clicking on here will take you to the uh, SourceForge download site. This is where all the public releases of our software is made. Um, so once a, a test release has been out for a while and we haven't had any major problems with it, it gets promoted to a full release and this is where the full releases are stored. You can see they're all in little folders. Um, the sounds file is here if you want to get the sounds file. Uh, okay, it's pretty obvious how that all works. And the other thing to mention is the Yahoo group. Now, if you want support, if you need to ask a question, if you need help, if you want to share your experiences, if you have great ideas that you'd, you'd like us to implement, uh, the Yahoo group is, is the place to do it. Now, as a group, it requires membership. Um, we did this to sort of protect from spam bots and, and, and the like. Uh, very simple to join, you just click the join group there, fill in the form, and please, uh, as a comment, just mention what sort of mount you've got, or what type of telescope you've got, or what your interests are. Um, we tend to reject applications that just say, please let me join. Um, we need to identify that it is, 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 is someone with a real interest in, in EQMod, just to keep the spam bots out. Um, we're very lucky we, we, we haven't been troubled at all by spam in, in, in the four years that the group's been running. And, and that's probably down to the, 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 the fact that we, we ask for uh, proof, basic proof that, that, that it's a real person that's joining the group. And that all you have to do is say, what your mount is and, and, and you'll be accepted. Within the group uh, obviously there's a I say we've got about 3,000 members we've been running for four years so there's there's an awful lot of uh, message messages in the message archive so a lot of information in there. Uh, there's file sections where test releases are made I always make test releases to this group uh, the idea being that the group members give feedback uh, and if if the feedback is good then we we promote the test releases to full releases I'd prefer it if test releases were kept from or kept within this group um, and not made available to the the wider public um, simply because as to, as a developer I, I need feedback and it's much easier to get feedback through through this channel um, Photo section, uh, people have pictures of images that they've taken, but but also if if they have screenshots of things that they want to discuss, that's, that's the place to put them. Uh, and we have a, a database section, which has uh, databases of equipment that is known to work with e EQMod software. So there's there's lists of uh, GPS units, uh, game pads. USB 232 converters and that sort of stuff and there's also databases on, on, on the mechanics of the mounts. Um, okay that's uh, essentially as I say we, we have members, a, a large uh, member base and they're from all over the world um, so you can literally get 24 hour support. Um, if you're not uh, fluent in English uh, but want to join the group, feel free. I mean, I say we have members in all, all many, many, many different countries speaking lots of different languages. Uh, I'm sure someone can help you out if, 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 if you have trouble phrasing a question or don't understand an answer. Um, okay. Well, that's that, that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said in the in, in the introduction. 
this uh, EQMod project uh, homepage is is probably the, the 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 kind of hub that you want to go to first. From here, you can get to all the other um, places where you can find documentation and support.